And we welcome you back to the Knoxville Civic Coliseum. Some youth hockey scrimmages taking place right now on the ice. But up here in the play-by-play -play booth, we're joined by a very special guest, Luke Hedrick of the Mid-South Garrison of the 501st Legion. Luke, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thanks for having us tonight. Now, it, it's a very special night here, Star Wars Night at the Knoxville Civic Coliseum. And as always, uh, your group coming out in droves, dressed in full Star Wars getup. And uh, it, like I said, a very special night here at the Knoxville Civic Coliseum. Yeah, we pretty much take any chance we get to dress up and just enjoy the fandom. <laughs> now, I, I understand you're pretty high up there in the in the Mid South Garrison, the executive officer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, that's correct. It's actually uh, about to be election time, so that may not be the case in a month. <laughs> but as of right now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, <coughs> excuse me. In, in terms of that Mid South Garrison, uh, a, a ton of members, one of the largest actually in the world, uh, six, if I'm not mistaken. In fact. Uh, yeah, I believe we have, uh, last count, we have close to 150, 160 active members. Uh, we span two states. A lot of the other garrisons and stuff will only span one state, so we have that working for us. Now, it, it, for, for those of our fans that don't exactly know, uh, what, what really is your guys' purpose? Are you just a, a bunch of guys that love the films and, and want to get together and, and go out into the community? Or uh, I, I understand you also do some, uh, some charities and fundraiser events too. Right, yeah, it just started with uh, a couple of guys that just wanted to dress up as stormtroopers and it eventually snowballed into what it is, a uh, worldwide organization today. Um, we do work with different charities, usually children-related charities like Make-A-Wish, um, Children's Hospital, uh, JDRF, just different things like that. Um, in uh, 2011, I think the final total worldwide charity donations that we raised were 11.8 million. Wow, that, and that's just amazing because it, it's something that, that is really to, to a lot of people a, a very special film franchise that uh, you know that I grew up on, that, that a lot of people grew up loving, and, and then you have the new films that, uh, that came out a few years back, and from what I'm understanding now, some more films gonna be made. Episode seven, currently in development. Yeah, uh, once Disney got it, they made the announcement. It was pretty much a surprise, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, uh, getting back to sort of uh, to sort of your specific group again, uh, the Mid-South Garrison, uh, where are you all based out of? I know Tennessee and Kentucky, but is there one central hub that, that's sort of uh, your guys' home base? Uh, not really. We come from pretty much everywhere from Chattanooga, Johnson City, Louisville, Lexington. So we span the whole wide area. There's probably the biggest concentration in the Nashville, Clarksville area because it's just such a big centrally located uh, with so many people living there. Now, now I imagine you all uh, get new members from time to time. If we've got a Star Wars enthusiast that has the costume, says, you know what, I want to join this group. It sounds like a great time. How do they go about doing that? Uh, they could just go to the 501stlegion.com or they can go to the midsouthgarrison.com and just look around on the forums and get to know us. We'll invite you out, help you build stuff. Uh, pretty welcome and opening group. Now, the, the one question I have is, uh, you know, as we looked around earlier tonight, Kids that were coming into the Knoxville Civic Coliseum, you had a bunch of your group out there uh, dressed up and kids just in awe seeing some of, you know, their favorite characters brought to life here at the Knoxville Civic Coliseum tonight. But in, in terms of a new member coming in, do you ever have uh, a, a new Vader trying to replace the old Vader or, or how does that, do you have to sort of earn your stripes before you can decide who you're going to be? Well, no, you can actually start with any costume you want. Uh, it just depends on how much money you're willing to put into them. <laughs> uh, we actually have probably several Vaders in the garrison, okay. but usually just um, once one person per city has one, then a couple other people usually just will back off of it. <laughs> uh, I do know Nashville has a couple, but it's just kind of when there's an event, first person to sign up that says I'm Vader, they're Vader. <laughs> well, that's just that's outstanding. And again, that website for uh, fans that want to that want to become involved with your group, uh, either the 501st.com or midsouthgarrison.com. Well, Luke, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for coming out tonight to oh, the Ice Thanks for Space having game. me. It's been a blast. Fans, we've got a lot more ahead in tonight's broadcast. We invite you to stay tuned a little later. We're going to be talking to Miles Baker of Premier Martial Arts, a few Star Wars enthusiasts in his group. A lightsaber performance will be performed in the second period, or the second intermission, rather. So you certainly want to stay tuned to that. More straight ahead on Ice Bears TV.